A viewer recently emailed us about flatulence, wondering why the wind, or farts if you prefer, sometimes smell, and other times have no smell. And it's a great question. After all, smelly flatulence can be one of the most embarrassing gut health symptoms. You see, while issues like constipation or diarrhea are usually just between you and your bathroom, <laughs> smelly farts often pop up in public settings, like dinners with your friends, during a date, or if you're Whoopi Goldberg on national TV. So my skin that's gonna make Excuse me. Yeah, So in this short video, we're going to look at the elephant in the room, a topic most people find uncomfortable, but which has the potential to really improve one's life when addressed. In other words, we're going to find out exactly what makes fart smell, plus the best way to make them go away. Hi, I'm registered dietitian Rochelle Godwin, and I'm guessing that if you've done some research into what causes smelly flatulence and how to fix it, you've probably seen advice like this. So, what do you have to do to be less farty and stinky? Well, one way is to try cutting down on foods like beans, onions, and fried foods. Now, while these sorts of answers are helpful, it left us wondering where's the scientific research and what does it have to say about all of this? After all, here at Essential Stacks, we pride ourselves on always teaching you how the gut works and how you can improve your digestive health based on studies. So of course, our research team decided to do some digging for you. So first of all, let's talk about why most farts have no smell. That's because when gas is produced via a healthy process of fermentation, most of it, and we're talking 99% of it, is simply made up of a mixture of the following five gases, being nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane. And since these gases are more or less odorless, so are your farts. In fact, you could be dropping healthy farts all day long and no one will know. And best of all, the poor dog can go about its day without being wrongly accused. So to discover why some farts smell, we had to dive deep into the research. And the best study we came across was this 1998 piece published in the BMJ's Gut Journal. Here's what they found. Sulfur containing gases are the major reason behind smelly farts, or in their fancy words, human flatus. And out of all the different types of sulfur gases you might find in farts, they found three in particular were the most common, as they concluded, quote, our analysis of human flatus showed that hydrogen sulfide, methane ethyl, and dimethyl sulfide were present in much higher concentrations than were the other sulfur containing gases, unquote. And out of these three gases, hydrogen sulfide was the predominant gas and most important determinant of odor. Now, in terms of what bad farts smell like, well, lucky for us, <laughs> the scientists in the 1998 study didn't stop at simply identifying the gases. Instead, like craft wearing wine stomps from Napa Valley, they also provided some rather interesting smelling notes. <laughs> As they wrote, the odors of hydrogen sulfide, methane ethyl, and dimethyl sulfide were respectively described as rotten eggs, decomposing vegetables, and sweet. And while you're absorbing that, how about we take a moment to thank the poor scientists who had to sit around collecting this data. So now we know that sulfur-based gases are responsible for our smelly farts. The question becomes, what causes these gases to occur in the first place? After all, if we can answer this, then we can start to work on the ways to reduce them. And the best starting point is to actually look at what the researchers fed the test subjects in the 1998 study. And we'll pull this up now. So it turns out, quote, to ensure flattest output, the diet of the subjects was usually supplemented with 200 grams or seven ounces of pinto beans, unquote. Now, what other foods can cause smelly farts? <laughs> well, the researchers noted that hydrogen sulfide, which is the leading cause of rotten egg smelling farts, is a quote, product of the metabolism of sulfate reducing bacteria. Unquote. And you don't need to understand exactly what that means. All you need to do is picture these bacteria as magical farting unicorns. Now, how do we get these unicorns to fart less? Well, researchers said we should try to either reduce these types of bacteria or reduce the availability of their favorite food, which is sulfur-rich foods. 
So what are the sulfur rich foods that they love so much? Well, the researchers shared some examples such as cruciferous vegetables like cabbage and broccoli, as well as nuts and an additive in bread and beer. Other examples of sulfur rich foods would be garlic, lentils, and grains. And if you want to discover the complete list of foods that might lead to magical unicorn farts, <laughs> I mean smelly gas, then download our free flatulence foods list. It goes through all the different types of foods that can cause flatulence, both the smelly and loud kinds. So to wrap things up, thankfully most farts don't smell since they largely contain odorless gases like nitrogen, oxygen, and methane. But when we do pass wind that has a distinct smell to it, then it's usually thanks to sulfur containing gases. If it smells like rotten eggs, you can thank your friend, hydrogen sulfide. And if it smells like decomposing vegetables, well, you can tip your hat to methane ethyol. In terms of how we can reduce these smelly parts from happening, the main way is to monitor your intake of sulfur rich foods like beans, cruciferous vegetables, and nuts. Of course, since many of these foods are also rich in nutrients and great sources of fiber, you don't wanna cut them out entirely. Instead, you should focus on training your gut to digest these foods better. And I explain how to do this in another video on flatulence. So we'll play a quick clip from that now. So first of all, avoid eating large serving sizes of these foods, at least initially. This step alone will reduce excessive flatulence for most. And of course, by the same token, don't cut out any of these foods completely. Instead, what you want to do is gradually expose your gut to the various carbohydrates we've talked about in this video, meaning you slowly build up the serving sizes over time. For example, if you struggle eating cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, try eating just one florette a day for one week then two florets a day the next week, and so on. Over time, your gut will get better at breaking down the food and flatulence will decrease even as you eat more of it. Finally, if you want to discover some more experimental ways to reduce smelly farts, check out the links to this in the description below. Now we wanna hear from you. Which foods give you the smelliest gas? Let everyone know by leaving a comment below. If you enjoyed watching this video as part of our flatulence series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now.